was a great first day. Bass, beers, bats, and barbecue. <laughs> that was fun. But today we're uh, exploring a new area. This is the Longhorn Dam. As you can see, I believe this is Lady Bird Lake. And over here, the lake, I guess, feeds into this dam, falls over, goes on down that way. And over there, there's a bunch of current. Uh, you can see that green patch of island. We're actually gonna walk around. We just came out here to see what it looks like. And we're gonna try to get ourselves either on that shore down there or behind this hill on the shore along the water. Let's see if we get us some bass. Ooh, I see uh there's a person walking in there Oh no, it's a person with a dog. I don't know if no, Oh it's two people. Oh, okay, let's go let's go see what's up. This looks like such a quintessential spot for fish, right by the dam. Now I'm not too familiar with the area to know when the dam is higher or lower, what season, this and that. So we're just gonna go for it, but oh my gosh, look at this guys. You can see from up here, it's so clear, just these pools. Maybe I can see a bass. We gotta get down there and get a fish. We gotta go down the secret passage, guys. Let's get down there. There we go. So we made it, a bit of a hike. And we're just gonna start to Get ourselves ready here. We got the St. Croix Triumph travel rod, medium powered. This thing's pretty good. You know, even the small fish, you could feel them pretty good on this. Even though it's an inshore, not necessarily for freshwater. It's getting the job done though. You saw those bass yesterday. Oh man, this is very exciting looking. <laughs> Hope we can find something here start off with what, we, what caught for us yesterday because why not and nothing's happening maybe we'll switch to some top water and then do a little bit of a uh, senko worming maybe a wacky wacky worm but for now we're gonna mess with what was doing good yesterday which was this uh, chatterbait attached to, a, with a crawdad attached. All right, let's get this rigged up. I don't really see any life in this pool, but I'm gonna cast, pull it through, see what happens. I think I'll be able to retrieve it if it gets stuck on something. Look at the little tiny small fish over there. The little fishies? See, too. Tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling. What? I have a feeling that in here, it would be interesting. Look at all the fish chasing it. What? All those fish were chasing oh. it. Yeah, let's go let's go see what they caught. Oh, yeah yeah, I was pointing, yeah. Just hopping on these rocks. Slowly working this water, throwing this guy out three or four times in a couple directions. Just kind of working along this grass area. Maybe there's some shallow water bass hiding. It's very shallow, so. Got all little fishies. Ooh, a bunch of schools all over here. I don't want to get stuck on that rock right there. Let's see what happens. Uh, bad cast. Okay, it's right lined up with that rock I didn't want to hit. I think I'm going to pass it. Uh, get up here. Come on. A little softer but not like muddy trap look they're like look they're trapped oh man look at them go whoa this is the vortex like what the ants do this is so cool oh look at them 
I'm coming for you guys. <laughs> huh? Can you check? Can you check for me? Hold this. Get it. Get all of them. Get them all. I had one on me? We had a bunch on me. A bunch? They're like, that's like 20. Do you see these little things? Oh. And they like crawl. Yeah, I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> I would have just. Got on the bus, go get a burger. Oh, oh. But, uh, they, they pull up over here. They pull up in this corner eventually. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You got it? Live lining. Jumping. He's jumping? Yeah. Alright, I don't know if we'll... Okay. Oh, oh. Alright, buddy. So nice. They hooked us up with some worms. Now we got worms and they've been catching... Uh, what was that? Perch? I think so. So, we're going to do as the locals do. And just throw a worm out there. See what happens. Guys, we got a fish on. Fish on! Fish on, guys! <laughs> we got a fish on, I believe. <laughs> Look at that, guys. You come. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, little bud. Oh shit. <laughs> That's his head. I don't know if it's a baby snapper, so watch out for his head. <laughs> Look guys, it's a little... I hooked it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought I had a fish. I was yelling at you. It was this. That's <laughs> so cool, right? Me amo. Me amo. Dennis. Dennis? Dennis. We got Dennis here with the professional freshwater at Longhorn Dam. <laughs> he gave us these uh, worms and look, we're getting these little, I don't know, crappy? This crappy? Oh. <laughs> Even more. Now he gave me a worm, so I want to get one too. But that's what we're going for. Crappy. I think a crappy. The name. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Good, good. Nice. Check this out, guys. While we wait. Look at these fish. They're kind of like sand and running up the river. They're, they're trying to get up this, uh, this cart. Over the damn little lip over here. Look at that guy. It's so cool. It's like a mini version of salmon lemon. Woo! Man! <laughs> Another one, I still got zero. <laughs> That's how it's done. That's how it's done. What? You alive? No. Oh. <laughs> what? Fish on! Oh, don't, please don't be the turtle again. Fish on. It's the turtle again. It's the turtle, fuck! It's the same turtle, guys. No, it isn't. It's bigger. Look at this guy, he's huge. This time we got him in the head. Hold this. This is a bigger guy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's out. Stop 
Fuck you, turtle. <laughs> turtle. So uh, we got some turtles. <laughs> We didn't get the fish, but we're gonna check out the lake that's attached to this dam. See if we got some bass there, maybe some carp. This is the first trip here. I might revisit this area at some point during the week. Let's see what we get. Two or three casts. Let's check it out under here, under the bridge. For fishy. Alright guys, we've been out here for like two and a half hours, not much luck fishing, but this is a perfect example of when it's really windy out and you know I'm in the kayak and I'm, I'm trying to go some out even on a windy day, as long as there's land barriers, you're still going to get areas that are calm, even though it's windy, as long as it hits land first, you'll, it'll be calm, check this out. Over here, you can see the lake, very choppy, and here super calm look at that that's the perfect example of even on windy days as long as you plan where you're going to be depending on where the direction of the wind is coming from you have a nice calm day on the water all right back to fishing let's see if we catch well overall it was a pretty slow day of fishing uh didn't quite get skunked we got those two turtles in the beginning and you saw we met some two guys that were fishing alongside us. I think the fish that uh, they were catching were crappies and they got a whole bunch on worms. They gave us a couple of worms to try and I was getting nibbles, but I think the hook was a little too large. I gotta downsize that hook next time. I think I may have some at home to bring. Uh, but as far as bass fishing goes, you know, we were going around the whole lake. It really is a beautiful lake to be fishing, but I just, I don't know the hot spot. Maybe it'll be uh, hotter later in terms of fishing but i got another week or so out here we'll try again next time see if we get those bass and for now we're gonna get us some torchies some uh torchies tacos and yeah until next time guys stay groovy yeah.